Because we all know, and Miss Roadhog, you have 24 hours to denounce this, or I'm going to law enforcement and adding you in it too. And I'm adding you as a mastermind. Okay, one scooter, I can help you real quick. Uh, one, you're not gonna blackmail my wife. We don't want anyone thinking that we're being a hypocrite, so. You're not gonna threaten my wife, my wife to do something that she has nothing to do with. And this is a straight blackmail. You're saying if my wife doesn't denounce it, you're going to go to the police and press charges against her. We don't want anyone thinking that we're being a hypocrite, so. Uh, you no, know, your, your blackmailing threat, uh, that ain't gonna work too well, buddy. And being that said. Uh, I'm gonna need you to understand that that's not how this works. I mean, we do not want, yeah. You don't just sit there and give somebody ultimatums. For anyone that feels, even for the stepped over line, no. So uh, you can take your blackmail and uh, blow that ass on down the street because uh, it ain't working here, bro. Like. So you need to shut your ass up. Moment's uh, tax money just hit. So I'm coming for you. I believe your IRO is as bold as real as your fuck. I mean, I get a little share of that to spend, and I was going to uh, buy me something really nice, jewelry size of a ring. But you know what? I'm coming for you instead. Lies on lies on lies on lies. And I understand you, you did it. Okay? So I'm going to show some new other stuff here. This is. The domestic uh, domestic violence division down in Florida. A motion to a motion and order to extend temporary injunction and order to appear hearing, which means, yeah, you know what it means. <laughs> so back in uh, November eighth, it was heard. Okay, they're they're looking to do a permanent injunction, extension of a temporary injunction. So they're they're trying to get this thing to go fully here. He says that he has not been served. He has been served. We know he was served by a magistrate. We have that paperwork. I just, I'm, I'm not worried about showing that. Because <laughs> it's, it's irrelevant. And here he is going up. He has to have his ass in a Zoom call on December 6th at 9.30 a.m. Okay. He is fucked. He did something dirty, dirty, and he has to pay for that, okay? When you do stupid shit, you win stupid prizes. Okay, this thing with me and real, there are no rules right now with me and real, and I think a lot of people need to understand that. What got him last night was the fact that he did not use the words <laughs> allegedly, that I was getting abused, my children were getting abused, my husband has apologized for a lot of things, <laughs> but there are still some things that people are upset about, so. My husband was willing to lose his channel just to make sure he was taken off, to make sure this never happens to someone else. This, that's how far he's willing to go. Like, like straight up. And I, I do have those recordings. Like, we were being abused, like. No allegedly, no nothing to it that we he was accusing him of a crime. <laughs> <laughs> That's how far it got with this guy. It, it wasn't, it was, of course he was upset about last night after he of hearing that. We were actually, um, I was actually getting ready. We were heading downtown to start filing. <laughs> So it's still, you know, if he does come after, it's still going to go. So we have everything ready. Because you just don't make statements like that. And he said something about the ex-wife being abused too. And don't get me wrong, we are in a, a fight right now. But I wouldn't wish that on her. And she has never. It, it's never. And if it was, we wouldn't be in a case right now. But yeah, she, she, he literally accused him of this stuff. This horrid stuff last night. 
my right my finger. I sent the clip of me. I played on Swiss Channel. It, it's it was it was really foul and disgusting. Yeah, and he did name the ex-wife and he made sure that he made sure uh, that he could dig up anything. And I'm like, we'll dig up because I don't have a record. I have got nothing to hide. <laughs>